Okay, and then I have in here really interesting car part what is oil cooler and it cools cool downs this engine's hot engine and motor oil. And what is this oil cooler? And here I have one excellent example and this car engine is this Toyota's 2.2 liter very high tech than uh, very high tech and extremely durable engine and that engine includes in in from this new one there is oil cooler and oil cooler is that part what is in here it is between that oil filter and then this engine block and there is those parts in this oil cooler are these metallic hoses what come from this water pump and coolant pump this pump pumps this coolant and water through this engine blocks and radiator and all areas and then when we look in this water pump hoses and pipes there are two connectors what goes this oil cooler in here first is the incoming and second outcoming hose and the idea is that that when this car is running this engine oil it is always the hottest hottest part in this engine engine oil can be in temperature what is something like uh, 200 celsius or one uh, normally normal temperature is something like 150 celsius and it is in fahrenheit about i estimate that 200 fahrenheit and then when we think that that water and coolant temperature it is always lower it is something like 70 or 80 celsius and the idea is that if we have engine oil what what temperature is like 150 celsius and then we have coolant level what is only 17 celsius and then we mix those like they are not in uh, mix but but if we install in this this other side of this metallic part we insert this cooler coolant and then inside of that part there is this hot oil then this hot oil becomes cooler and temperature becomes lower and and why this lower engine oil temperature is better there is one very important thing if we have lower engine oil temperature then this oil works better and there is rule that that what a lower engine oil temperature we have that's the better lubrication and this oil oil working conditions are and otherwise if we have really hot engine oil then it is almost boiling and this engine oil can even start to flame fires okay this is like, like intro and then how this this oil cooler works okay and then how this oil cooler works and how i can disassemble these parts first step is to take this oil filter out and now i have already loosened this part and we can take that oil filter out and there is oil filter and then then we need big socket what size is 30 millimeters and it looks like that kind of socket and three zero millimeters and this part fits in this central locking bolt and then then I insert my bar this opening bar and in that direction I open that bolt in here and now now I can use my fingers because it is loosened and then there is interesting central 
bolt. This is really interesting. And then when we have this cooler, now it is released. And then when we take one and two bolts away in here, I can little bit carefully, I can take that cooler away. Okay, and then we can go to look that closer. Okay, and here we have then this cooler. And this cooler's idea is that, that in that part in here, when we have this, this engine is running, there is air, this oil filter, and then this oil filter bolt, what became in here, and that part goes in directly in that position, and in that area in here, oil comes in, and then oil goes out in that hole. And then when oil goes in in here, in same time, when oil is going through these holes in here, and then directly in this oil filters, these holes in here, outer holes. And this inner hole is like exit hole, and these outer small holes are incoming oil thing. This oil goes through these holes in here, and this is cooler part, and then in same time we have this coolant pipes where comes this cool coolant liquid in here, and it goes through that area, and then when we look in the inner area, we can see that there is huge amount of those small metallic coils in there inside. When we look in there, there we can see, and and through those small holes, this coolant liquid is moving in there, and then coolant hose goes out, and it comes back in here, and then it goes again in that road to radiator, and then it, this coolant liquid is cooler, and then purpose is that when hot oil comes in this oil cooler in that area, it is about temperature what is, I believe, I, I write in here my, I take my, my pencil, in here it is about, I say that 200 Fahrenheit. 200 Fahrenheit is this oil, oil in here, when it, oil comes in this cooler. But then when it goes through that cooler in that area and oil comes through those holes in out in this area and then it goes in this inner of this oil filter, there is this temperature it is not now 200. It can be something like, in that area, 100 Fahrenheit. And this is this oil cooler's purpose. It, it can lower this our engine oil temperature from 200 Fahrenheit to 100 Fahrenheit. And the idea, the whole mechanism is that in here we have water pump what sends cooler coolant in here and then this coolant liquid takes this heat and warm in intake of itself and then we send that hot coolant in this radiator and then air uh, cools down this hot coolant. And this is really, really fantastic, I, uh, fantastic car part and if we, ca if we have that oil cooler in our engine, then I can guarantee that this our engine lasts longer, maybe 20% 20, 20 more mileage, because this uh, oil, oil temperature is so low. And of course, we can install this oil cooler in like extra spare part in our current engine. And we need only this kit oil cooler kit and then we need to install this longer this installation bolt what goes through that system and this part takes contact in this uh, engine block and then in that area we can install this oil filter in that way 
Okay, and now it is in place. And we, we, can, we can purchase the new cooler. And this cooler is really interesting part. And when we look that part, why we have in here these holes? There is idea that when this, this oil comes out through that central hole, this oil goes then out in here and then through these holes this oil became out in here. Very interesting. And there is pre some pressure valve you, what controls also this system. Okay, but really this was the idea that how oil cooler works. Okay, and thank you for watching that video.